What's up guys, welcome to another episode. Today we'll be talking about torque wrenches. Uh, I've been receiving a lot of questions regarding how do I use a torque wrench? Uh, do I always have to use a torque wrench? Where can I purchase one that's not going to be $100 and that sort of thing. Uh, real quick, the torque wrench I use is from Harbor Freight. Very often you can find coupons for Harbor Freight for 20-25% off. This happens to be a half inch drive uh, torque wrench and I'll show you how to use it. Uh, we'll do an example with tightening a lug nut on a vehicle. Uh, and uh, that way you can get an understanding, a quick understanding of how it works. Uh, but really, yeah, if you do plan on doing your own auto repair, you should get a torque wrench. You know, for there are certain things that you absolutely need one, such as engine building. Uh, in my strut replacement video, for example, you need a torque wrench for that kind of job. Other things you can get around, you know, if you're bolting up an exhaust, you know, a muffler to, let's say, a white pipe or to after a cat, uh, catalytic converter pipe, yeah, you can probably get away with it without one. Uh, but for other things, you really, really, I highly recommend it. Um, because again, some, some components are so important that, you know, for example, when you're bolting a cylinder head uh, to an engine block, you got to make sure you have the right torquage because otherwise that head gasket is not going to perform correctly and you're going to have a big problem. Uh, so really, get, if you do plan on doing your own auto repair, get a torque wrench. I mean, that's the short answer. So real quick, let me show you how this works. All right, so once you have the torque wrench, just take a look at the bottom. This is where you get to adjust how much torque you actually need. So in this case, this is lab labeled in foot-pounds. So you have 150, 140, 130, 120, and so forth. And then you have a lever here that you turn. So the first step is we need to loosen up this knob. And that's done by turning this counterclockwise. In other words, if this was fully tight or tightened, you wouldn't be able to move this lock, this this rod, okay? So you have to loosen it up. That's counterclockwise, and then in this case, we'll be tightening this um, uh, this wheel. Uh, so, and for this vehicle, it's 80 foot pounds. So we have 80, and just follow the line. And 80 foot pounds happens to be right here, okay? I'm not sure if you can really see it, but when you purchase a torque wrench, you'll be able to see it. And then we have a lever. So you have eight, six, four, and so forth. So for 80 foot-pounds, this lever has to be zero, and the zero is going to be on 80. So let me just show you. So we just turn this. A little bit more. And... Okay, so now we're on 80 foot-pounds. If, for example, if you needed 85 just go a little bit more. All right, that would be 85 foot pounds. You see, you can even double check because here's 90. The 90 notch is right above it. So in this case, we'll be using 80. So that's 80 foot pounds. So now you tighten up this locking nut or this not this locking uh, lever down here, and now we're ready to rock and roll. Okay, so in this case, we'll be doing this on a uh, lug nut and just turn it until you hear the wrench click, like that. So now we know that we're at 80 foot-pounds. All right, guys, so that's a quick overview of uh, how the torque wrench works. And any questions, concerns, just leave it below, and uh, we'll see you next time.